Rising grind. Barbershop time. Let's get into this. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs, guys. We're going to try to get back into this. Today is Saturday, guys. I'm by head to the barbershop right now. First appointment is at 6 a.m. It is 5.50 right now. I'm going to stop and get myself a coffee. And let's get into this. All right, guys, we're here at the shop already. It's about 7.15 in the morning. I already did my first three cuts. Uh, it's been a while since I vlogged, guys. It's been a while. I'm not going to lie. I kind of miss vlogging. I appreciate all the people that leave comments all the time saying they miss my vlogs. You know what, guys? I don't know. I kind of just lost the interest in it lately. I haven't been vlogging. I just haven't had the desire before. I felt like I always had something to say and... And then this year, a lot of things changed last year, you know, just my whole attitude, uh, you know, doing YouTube is difficult, guys. It's not easy, guys. So sometimes you got to be out here fucking, you know, sharing, finding things to share about, you know, sometimes, I, you know, I, I should just go back and look at my old videos because I always had good ass subjects, you know, those subjects are all still valid right now. So let me show you some of the things that I've changed since I've, uh, since I stopped vlogging a while back. Because it's been about three months since I even dropped a vlog, guys. Like a, a legit vlog like this. But things that changed at my shop. Let me turn you guys around and see. I got a bigger TV. Black Friday. Got an 85-incher in here. Um, the seating is all the same. Kind of changed switching around. Had to cut one of the shelves off right here. Being able to fit that TV. Um, my station. Let me show you my station right here. It's a little dirty right now. I just got done with a couple cuts, but... You guys can see right here, using this Gentleman Republic Caddy right here. It's really nice. Keeps everything well organized. I really like it, actually, because it keeps all these little things up here that I always have to be looking for. Keeps your clips right here. Uh, machines that I've been using. These are my favorite machines. You guys saw what I, my favorite top three clippers the other day. Um, still on the same machines, pretty much, guys, but... Right now, this is my favorite machine, guys. By far, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been using the Low Pro FX. This is the one, one with the released battery in the back. See that? I love this machine, you guys. If you guys are looking for a good machine, I highly recommend you try this one. That's one of my favorite machines. That one, the Instinct, still up there. Uh, the Ergo, still by far one of my favorites. I have the other Andes on here. The other... Uh, 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 Stylecraft also. I got several machines on here, guys. But these are the ones I've been using lately. Um, Yeah. So, we've just been here, guys, grinding every day. Every day. Things are still the same. Some days we are super busy. Some days we are not. It's just, it's like, I, you never know. You never know. Um, January 1st, we went up in price here at my shop. Uh, we haven't gone up in over two years, so... This year, I thought it was like, you know, it's time to go back up, go back up. Uh, I like to go up once a year, at least a dollar or two. But since we skipped last year, we went up five bucks this year. So now we're uh, our, our prices here at my shop are 40 bucks, $40 per haircut. Doesn't matter if you're a kid, doesn't matter if you're an adult, doesn't matter if you're a senior. We just charge 40 bucks for a haircut, 40 bucks for a shave, 40 bucks for your beard trim. But if you get a beard trim and a haircut, we charge 50 bucks. So you get a big discount if you do both. Um, and, and another thing that we're doing here at my shop now is we're accepting a credit cards again. I went back to taking credit cards, got my new self, a new uh, uh, POS system again. Let me show you guys that. Yeah, I'm taking credit cards again, but let me show you my system. Going, I got another Clover. I don't know if you guys remember. So you guys, those of you guys have been with me for a while. This is the Clover Mini. Before I had the Clover, the big Clover with the big desktop. But, um, you know, I got a company to give me this one for free, guys. If you guys need a hookup for credit cards processing, let me know. I have a great company. That um, The difference between last time and this time as far as credit card processing is that before I took on all the credit card charges, the 1.5%, 2%, 3%, I was paying for that. Now... The way I do it on my, I'll show you guys on my on my thing right here. Now we pass the 3.9% charge to the customer. So if a person uses a credit card, then they got to pay the processing fee. That way I get all my money back. 
these are our prices right here if you guys are wondering so it's a good system guys because see now i don't have to take in that 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 percentage at 3.9 percent guys trust me guys at the end of the year that adds up to thousands and thousands of dollars you know that's exactly why at one time that's exactly why at one time i actually stopped taking credit cards and actually i stopped taking credit cards right before the pandemic so it worked out really good for me um it worked out good for me because uh during that time not accepting credit cards it was a lot easier just dealing with cash you know and after that i kind of stayed on cash for two years but lately, you know, it's just, business has been well, and I want to start claiming all my, my what we're making here. I want to buy a house, another house. So um, in order to do that, you got you to gotta be able to show that you're making enough money, guys. That's another thing about being in the barber business, you know. If you want to sh show, you have to show your income in order to be able to purchase properties or anything like that, guys. So if you guys are cheating on your taxes, you know what? You're not going to be able to buy nothing. That's basically what it comes down to. But keep that in mind. But that's my intro. You know, things are still going on here, guys. We're surviving. We're living right here. You know, things it, haven't changed. Still grinding every day. Uh, football season's now over. So, you know, during football season, I'm missing, you know, different days. I go to a lot of games. But now that the season's over, uh, um, you know, it's back to on the grind, you know. Next vacation from now on is not until May. So I got five months before I go on my next vacation. So... For those next five months, we're just going to be grinding here every single weekend. But I'm going to put myself on a schedule, guys. I'm going to try to vlog for you guys at least once to two times a week like we before. I'm going to go back on Thursdays, Thursday, Friday uh, 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 vlog, and then we'll do a Monday vlog. Because Monday I'm always here too. and So that's, those are two good days of vlog. But I'm going to try to drop some vlogs. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have anything you guys want me to talk about, anything of my experiences you want me to discuss it with you, drop it uh, in the in the comment section, and then I'll address everybody, guys. You know, you know how big Al is. If you guys leave a comment, I always try to acknowledge everybody. I always try to answer everybody, guys. But I appreciate every single one of you guys always. You know, encouraging me to, to, to vlog more, or even to post more, you know. This, this last year was kind of weird. It just, I wasn't really into it. But like I said, I'm going to try to get back into it for you guys. I'm going to see if I can record a haircut a little bit, post it up for you guys, and we'll see what's up at the end of the day, all right? Two years. Let's tap the Thumbtack app and find a pro to install new ones. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top rate. Ugly rainy day today, guys. It's about 1 p.m. right now. I'm already about 15 cuts in for the day. It's been super slam busy. Um, we're a little short-handed today. I got uh, Raul's not around, so we've been a little short-handed. But I've been doing most of the haircuts. But yeah, it's been super slam busy today. I'm gonna get about to get me some lunch right here at Jersey Mike's. Head back, still got three more hours left. 
So it sucks right now, guys. I just had an incident here where um, it's totally my bad. I was out. I went to go get some lunch real quick, and I really, I, I thought I was done with all my appointments. I looked at my schedule and it showed no more appointments. So I took off, went to go get lunch, came back, walked in. There was a guy sitting there. Biz was almost done with the haircut he had in his seat, so I figured he'll get the next one too. Oh my god, that guy was my appointment. I didn't even know. First time guy. So um, I pretty much texted him. He walked out of here. He got mad. He walked out of here, and uh, uh, I texted him, told him my bad. I, I didn't realize that I still had another appointment left, and I offered to get cut his hair for free. I go, come back, and I'll cut your hair for free. And, um, you know, it's just my bad. I go, it's just been a long day. I, guys, it's been nonstop. Like, that's the first time I got a chance to sit down, and I kind of took advantage of it. Um, I shouldn't have. I, I, I should have got up as soon as he said that was my appointment. I should have got up. Um, but it's my bad, you know, if I learn from stuff like this, guys, stuff like this happens. I try to make it right. He didn't even answer my text back. I had his number through the, through the appointment book. It has their number right there. So I texted back to let him know that it was my bad. I go, bro, I'm so sorry. It's just been a crazy day. And I didn't realize that I still had another appointment. I will come back and I'll cut your hair for free. But he didn't come back. So it is what it is, guys. I, I tried, you know. Hopefully he doesn't leave us a bad review, though. But that's how you get bad reviews. All right, guys. I left work already. I'm already here at home. I actually forgot to close out the vlog. And you know what? It's probably because I haven't been vlogging. I kind of just, like, leave now. So before I would have to worry about having to close the vlog out and this and that. And so, and you know, guys, vlogging is, is uh, it's a challenge, guys. It's a challenge because you got to be on it all day long. You have to be thinking of content. You know, today was a good example of uh, what not to do on my last situation on that client. You know, I felt bad. He never texted me back or nothing. But what I'm going to do tonight is a little bit later, I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to reach out to him and, um, you know, just let give him one more chance at that free haircut and let him know that uh, it, it was uh, not intentional and it was all my bad. Now, at the end of the day, I was just tired. You know, I've done 17 haircuts today. So that was like on my 15th haircut. You know, maybe at that time, I'm a little bit more not as friendly or maybe i just it's just bad customer service guys bad customer service on my side and you know and i gotta make up for it so and, and i gotta change that sometimes you know i'm an old ass man and sometimes i get moody at the end of the day and i'm all business and i you know and i was hungry and i just wanted to get a bite to eat you know so but it was all my bad so lesson learned but guys with that being said that's it for today uh, I'll see you guys next week. I'll see. Well, maybe tomorrow's Monday already, so I won't be vlogging tomorrow. But we'll start up that new schedule in this next week coming up. All right, guys. So by Thursday, hopefully Friday, Saturday, I'll drop another vlog for you guys. But with that being said, see you guys later.